All right, we're going to give a look here at uh, Whistler's Mother, popularly known as, but originally titled as Arrangement in Black and Gray, uh, number one by James McNeil Whistler. Whistler was a buddy of Monet, and uh, they were influenced by Eugene Bodine, a Normandy Coast painter that got Monet to start going outside to to paint, said it's, you know, the outside is where it's at. And uh, they were also inspired by J.M.W. Turner, an Englishman, a couple of generations younger than these guys, and um, put in this real ethereal quality. But anyway, what we're doing here is I'm playing with this classic painting. And uh, and it's my point here is that gray and black, you know, it's just those two colors in here. We have the flesh tone of the face. We've got this kind of golden umber brown down here at the bottom, and then a you know an even lighter kind of brown right there. The hands are white and the in the frame in the back and you know I, I want to say that you know the artist is more into not so much the subject matter as they are into the paint so we're playing with black and gray here so I just got a number two pencil and that's going to be a pretty good gray I've got a colored pencil set of Let's see, 18, and there's a silver color. But see, that's pretty much the same as the number two pencil, so I won't ruin or use that up. And a couple of ways to get this gray kind of looking good, rubbing your finger over it, washing it down, and then even take your your white. My lid came out. The blender. I'll be a little bit more shiny than uh, Whistler had it done. I don't know a lot about Whistler. Um, I do know that he and Monet were buddies, and Whistler painted some pretty um, abstract sort of pieces. And uh, they're really, I mean, for when he was living, that the abstract was pretty amazing. So, got all this black to do. And this black on her dress is going to be a little bit different than the black on this wall right here. But let's just put as much black in as we can. Staying in the line. Maybe do this black on the wall. I'm going to do it pretty hard. And then maybe when we get to the dress, we'll do it hard as well, but we'll blend it all up to where there's no like open spots like there are here on this wall. And um, there's this black right here that just merges right into the dress. Looks like a leg of the chair right there. 
what happens if I rub a little moisture on it? That's going to give it a different tone. There we go. And that's what we wanted. All right. We need a little gray up here in this photo. It's like maybe a landscape. There's and then down here, the color I have is metallic gold. And that's going to be a little too bright for what we're getting if we're mimicking Whistler. Uh, we'll maybe change that. And then this is uh, the goldenrod. Again, that's a little too bright for her face. A little bit of hair coming across there, you know, and maybe to get the white in there, we'll do all this. And notice I left out the hands. Very important part there. And uh, though they're white, you don't really have a white that'll work. Using my eraser to get it more like we wanted. Put a little finger in there. And there you have it. Let's wet this a little bit too. See what happened. Make it a little duller. Maybe put a little black into our gray. And there, there we have it. So what else could we do with something like this? You know, just know that it's like you know, we have this figure. We can make it abstract if we wanted. And we've got this, you know, maybe a doorway there and a window there. And, you know, if you wanted to, want to use crayons to kind of make it easier. Let's say it's going to be an arrangement in green. Red would be too, too obvious or too much contrast. How about arrangement in green and blue? Number one, or yeah, this is our number one. So what are we going to use for our third color? Well, whatever. Let me use purple. Maybe use a little of this deep yellow orange for skin tone. And got a very unrecognizable situation going on here. There's our picture. There's our whistler. Well, let's do that in black. Get a little more definition. I don't particularly like this blue. Let's do a lighter blue. See what happens here.
kind of messed up, took away from her dress there. Let's make this green a little bit lighter. See if that helps us. A little white in it. A little yellow in it. And we're talking. So we have our arrangement in green, black, blue, orange, a little ochre in there for the picture frame. Lips. Some eyes. Some hair. We've got another with her mother. All right. Thank you very much.